from around the globe. It's theCUBE, with digital coverage of IBM Think 2021. Brought to you by IBM. Hello, welcome back to theCUBE's coverage of IBM Think 2021 virtual. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. We've got a great guest here. Brian Bouchard is the co-founder, president, and CEO of Alacranet. Uh, Brian, great to see you. Um, remoting in yeah, all the way from you, Puerto Rico to Palo Alto. That's great, right. Great to see thanks you. Thanks for, first of all, thanks John for having me. I really appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, great great to see you. Thanks for coming on. Um, first of all, before we get in, into what you guys do and, and how this all ties into Think, what do you guys do at Alacranet? What's, why the name? Uh, a is good, you're at the top of the list and alphabetically, but tell us the, 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 um, the secret behind the name and what you guys do. So first of all, Alacranet is based on the root word alacrity, which means a prompt and willing, a prompt, a joyous promptitude, excuse me, to achieve a common goal. So we ultimately are a network of individuals with the traits of alacrity, so Alacranet. So that's our name. Great, so what's your relationship with IBM and how you guys have been able to leverage the partnership program uh, in the marketplace? Take us through the relationship. So, well, first of all, Alacranet is a platinum IBM business partner and was awarded recently the 2020 IBM North American Partner of the Year Award. And we were selected amongst 1600 other business partners across North America. We've been actually a consulting, an IT consulting company for almost 20 years now. And we, we were founded in 2002 in Palo Alto. And we have focused specifically on cybersecurity since 2013. What are and then the, as far, go ahead. What are some of the things you guys are working on? Because obviously, you know, the business is hot right now. Everyone's kind of looking at COVID saying, we're going to double down on the most critical projects and no time for leisurely activities when it comes to IT and cloud scale projects. You know, mission critical stuff's happening. What are you guys working on? So we're, we're focused on cybersecurity. Um, our, our security services really complement IBM's suite of security solutions and cover the full spectrum from our research and penetration testing, which helps identify vulnerabilities before a breach occurs. And to our, we also have managed security services, which helps prevent, detect, and remediate attacks in real time. And then finally, we also have a security staffing division and a software resale division, which kind of rounds out the full amount of offerings that we have to provide protection for our clients. What are some of the biggest challenges you guys have as a business and how's IBM helping you address those? Well, as you know, John, um, we all know that's the importance of cybersecurity in today's world, right? So it's increasing in both demand and importance and it's not expected to wane anytime soon. Cyber attacks are on the rise and there's no, uh, there's no expected end in sight to this. And in fact, just this week on 60 Minutes, uh, the Jay Powell, the chairman of the Federal Reserve Board, he noted that cyber attacks were the number one threat to the stability of the US economy. Also this week, a public school in Buffalo, New York was hacked with ransomware. And the school, you know, this, uh, the school district is just contemplating you know, paying the ransom to the hackers. So there's literally thousands of these attacks happening every day, whether it's in a local school district or a state government or an enterprise, even if you don't hear about them, they're happening. And adding to the complexity that the cyber attackers pose is the complexity of the actual cybersecurity tools themselves. There isn't a single solution provider or single technology that can ensure a company's security. Our, our customers need to work with many different companies and disconnected tools and processes to build an individual strategy that can adequately protect their organizations. You know, I love this conversation. Whenever I talk to practitioners on cybersecurity, you know, first of all, they're super smart, they're usually cyberpunks, and they all have some kind of eclectic backgrounds. But more importantly is that there's different approaches in terms of what you hear. Do you do, do you put more, if there's, do you add more firefighters, so to speak, to put out the fires and solve the problems? Or do you spend your time preventing the fires from happening in the first place? You know, and, and you know, the buildings are burning down. Don't make fire, fire, uh, don't make wood, make fire resistance you know, more of a priority. So there's less fires, not, I mean, firefighters. So it's that balance, you throw more firefighters at the problem or do you make the supply or the material, the business fireproof? What's your take on that? Yeah. Well, it, it kind of works both ways. I mean, we've seen uh, customers want to, they really want choice. They want to, in some cases they want to be the firefighter and in some cases they want the firefighter to come in and, and solve their problems. So, 
the common problem set that we're seeing with our, that our customers encounter is that they struggle, one, with too many disparate tools. And then they also have too much data being collected by all these disparate tools. And then they have a lack of talent in their environment to manage their environment. So what we've done at Alacronet is we've taken our, our cybersecurity practice and we've really uh, specifically tailored our offerings to address these core challenges. So first, to address the too many disparate tools problem, uh, we've been recommending that our clients look at uh, security platforms like the IBM uh, Cloud Pack for Security. The IBM Cloud Pack for Security is built on a security platform that allows interoperability across various security tools using open standards. So our customers have been responding extremely positively to this approach and look at it as a way to future-proof their investments and begin taking advantage of interoperability with and tools integration. Talk about where and you see your business going with the, with this, because you know there's not a shortage of, of need um, demand. Um, how are you guys flexing with the market? Uh, what's the strategy? Are you going to use technology enablement? You're going to more human driven. Brian, how do you see uh, your business of unfolding? Well, actually, really good. Uh, we're doing very well. I mean, obviously, we've made the you know, the top the business partner for IBM in 2020. Um, we have you know, significant growth and a lot of interest. I think we really attacked the market in a, in a, with a good strategy, which was to help defragment the market, if you will. There's a lot of point solutions. There's a lot of point vendors that very, you know, they, they spe uh, specialize in one piece of the whole problem. And what we've decided to do is find them the highest party list. So every CISO and CIO has a tick list. So they have that, you know, uh, first thing we, we need, a, we need a SIM, we need a, an EDR, we need a managed service, we need, um, what's the, the third solution that we're doing? So we, we need some new talent in house. So we actually added, added that as well. So we added a security staffing uh, division to help that piece of it as well. So to give you an idea, the cybersecurity market size, it was valued at 150 billion in 2019. And that is expected to grow to 300 billion by 2027. And Alacrity is well positioned to consolidate the many fragmented aspects of the security marketplace and offer our customers more integrated and easier to manage solutions. And we will continue to help our customers select the best suite of solutions to address all types of cybersecurity cyber threats. You know, it's, it's such a really important point you, you're making because, you know, the tools just have piled up in the tool shed, I call it. It's like, the, it's like, it's like you don't even know what's in there anymore. And, and then you got to support them. Then the world's changing. You got cloud native, the service area is increasing. And then the CISOs are also challenged. Do I, how many clouds do I build on? Do I optimize my development teams uh, for AWS or Azure? I mean, now that's kind of a factor. So you have all this tooling going on. They're building their own stuff. They're building their own core competency. And yet the CISO still needs to be like maintaining kind of like a relevance list. That's almost like a, a stock market for the, for the products. You're providing that. It sounds like you're providing that kind of service um, uh, yeah, absolutely. as well. Is so that right? We, we, we distill all of the products that are out there. There's thousands of cybersecurity products out there in the marketplace. And we kind of do all that distillation for the customer. We find using, you know, using a combination of things we use, you know, uh, Forrester and Gartner and all the market analysts to shortlist our, 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 our solutions that we offer customers. But then we also use our experience. And so through, you know, since 2013, we've been deploying these solutions across organizations and, and corporations across America. And we've, we've gained a large body of experience and we can take that experience and knowledge to our customers and, and help them, you know, make, make some good decisions. So they don't have to you know, make the, go through the pitfalls that many companies do when selecting these type of solutions. Well, congratulations, you've got a great business and uh, you know, that's just a basic search, making things easier for the CISO more so they can be safe and secure in their environment. It's funny, you know, cyber warfare, um, you know, the private companies have to fight their own battles, got to build their own armies. Certainly the government's not helping them and uh, they're confused even how to handle all this stuff. So they need, they need your service. Um, I'm just curious, as this continues to unfold and you start to see much more of a holistic view, what's the IBM angle in here? How, why are you such a big partner of theirs? Is it because um, their customers are working with you? They're bringing you into business? Is it because uh, you have an affinity towards some of their products? What's the connection with IBM? All of the above. <laughs> so I, mean, I think it probably started with our affinity to IBM Q Radar product. And we have a, we, um, have a lot of expertise in that, in that solution. Um, 
So that's that's where it started. And then I think IBM's leadership in this space has been remarkable, really. So like what, what's happening now with the IBM Cloud Pack for Security, you know, building a, a, a security platform to allow all these uh, point solutions to work together. Uh, that's the roadmap we want to put our customers on because we believe that's the yeah. that's the future for this this, uh, this this marketplace. Yeah, and the vision of hybrid cloud having that underpinning be with Red Hat. It's, just, it's a Linux kernel model of all things. Yeah, Kubernetes, you, know, portable, you, can multiple, you can run it on Azure, IBM Cloud, uh, AWS, it's portable. I mean, yeah, all this openness, as you probably know, uh, Cybersecurity was is really a laggard in the security and the information technology space as far as adopting uh, open standards, and IBM is I think leading that charge, and you'll be able to have a, a, a force multiplier uh, with you know, open standards in, in the space. Open it's, innovation it's kind of with open source is incredible. Easy. I mean, if you if the if if open source can embrace a common platform and build that kind of control plane and openness to allow thriving companies to just build out. Then you have an entire hybrid distributed architecture. Yeah, well, I think companies want to use the best in breed. So when we, when we show these solutions to customers, they want the best in breed. They always say, I don't, when it comes to security, they don't want second best. They want the best <laughs> that's out there because they're, yeah. they're securing their crown jewels. So that makes sense. Um, so the problem is, you know, having all these different disparate solutions that are all top in their category, none of them talk to each other. So we need to address that problem because without that being solved, this is just going to be a more, it's going to compound the complexity of, of, of the problems we solve day to day. Awesome, congratulations, Brian. Great story, um, you know, entrepreneur, built a great business over the years. Um, I think the product's amazing. I think that's exactly what the market needs and just shows you what the ecosystem's all about. This is the power of the ecosystem. You know, a thousand flowers are blooming. You got a great product. IBM's helping as well. Good partnership, network effect built in and, and still a lot more to do. Congratulations. Absolutely. Okay. Thank Brian, you very much. Brian, been Bouchard, my pleasure. thanks Appreciate for coming that. on theCUBE. Appreciate it. I'm Thank John you. Furrier with IBM Thinks 2021 virtual coverage. Thanks for watching.